Let's go. All right, guys. So you got an instant reaction here. Um, post game reaction, I guess you could call it. Celtics win one twenty nine to one twenty one on the road, and they push the Hawks to the brink on the series here. It is a three one lead heading back to Boston for Game Five, um, which is Tuesday seven thirty first um, at home. So, I mean, let's just talk. We're gonna give you guys the whole reaction stuff. Um, it's gonna be pretty long. We're just gonna. Well, maybe not too long, but we will talk. Um, so, yeah. Get the win, obviously, tonight. First quarter was great. Second quarter was pretty consistently good. Uh, third quarter, you had some... There were some runs during the game for the Hawks. Um, um, the Celtics, it felt like, had a 10-point lead literally all game. That's kind of what it felt like most of this game. And the Hawks were clawing back. And they would push it to, like... They would push... We'd have, like, a 10-point lead. They would push it to about four points. Um, and then we'd push it to like 10 again. And then it was kind of just like, it was super back and forth this game. Um, it, very exciting to watch, by the way. Um, but, you know, one thing I do want to, I want to shout out my boy Al Horford. He had zero points tonight. So when you look at the score sheet, you're like, oh, zero points. He had, he only took two shots. Very unselfish play. He had 11 rebounds and 5 assists. Um, great night for him. Derek White, 18 tonight, was very good in the first half. Um, I think he only had 3 points in the second half, but still a good game for him. Uh, Marcus Smart had some really key plays, including that 3 to end the first half, um, where he got the 3 and the foul, but there was no foul on the play after uh, Coach's Challenge. He had 19 Um Jalen um, and Jason, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, both had 31, which is just what you love to see. Um, Tatum, 31, 4 for 13 from 3. That's not that great, but he hit three of his three-pointers in the fourth quarter, um, including a pretty big one uh, near the end from, I don't know, that was almost 30 feet out, I think. Um, he had seven rebounds, four assists, um, and Jalen Brown, 31 points. Um, three of four from three, uh, four rebounds, three assists. Robert Williams was huge tonight. I cannot tell you um, how important he was coming off the bench. He played 28 minutes. He had 13 points, um, five of six from free throw for a center. Very good. He had 15 rebounds, including three offensive rebounds, three assists, and two steal and two blocks, two very important blocks. I feel like he had more than two blocks. Tatum also had three blocks, by the way. Um, he played some pretty solid defense tonight. But yeah, two blocks for Robert Williams. He was super good defensively. He had five fouls most of the fourth quarter. But you know what he did? They kept him out there, and he just played very, very strong. Um, he had a few like just quick layups. Um, and like I said earlier, the Hawks were pretty good offensively tonight. Like I cannot lie. I have to give credit where credit is due. The Hawks are very good offensively. But the Celtics had an answer. Um, when the Hawks, you know, had a run, they had an answer. Um, and they kept calling back. And so this was a really exciting game. Brogdon, ob obviously, 22 minutes, 14 points. Um, pretty good tonight. He missed one open layup, but we'll give him a pass on that because he was very good tonight. Um, and then other than that, Hauser didn't. He had one three-pointer, Muscala, Williams, Pritchard. They only played a minute, so at the end of the game, Williams and Pritchard played a minute. Um, for the Hawks end, Trey Young, 35 points. Um, I have to give him a lot of credit. He was very good tonight, uh, 15 assists. But you know who was really good tonight? DeAndre Hunter with 27. Um, obviously, Young was good, but I thought Hunter was really efficient tonight. He only missed six shots. Um, 27 points, 7 rebounds. But Trey Young with 15 assists. Wow. Um, but one thing is the bench points. Uh, Celtics only used three guys off the bench, but they just had a little more scoring off the bench. Obviously, they have guys like Brogdon. Bogdanovich actually fouled out at the end of the game. Um, and guys like John Collins. John Collins had a rough game. Just one for nine from the field, so... Um, DeJounte Murray was pretty decent as well. Um, but yeah, 
Great night tonight. Celtics shoot 51.7% from the field, 40% from three, 84% from the free throw line. Um, 49 rebounds. They out-rebounded the Hawks. Not in offensive rebounds, but in rebounds and total rebounds. Um, I told you guys today in my game preview for game four, I said the key was to at least get close or out-rebound the Hawks. And, you know, they did out-rebound them just barely, but they did. Um, the turnovers, Celtics had more. 16 turnovers is a lot. Um, but they, like I said, they played a super strong game. Um, defense wasn't amazing, but they had the blocks and the stops when they needed to. And the offense was terrific tonight. Um, but that is going to do it for the video. So happy they won. Guys, um, I'll see you guys for a game preview probably on Tuesday. Um, game 5 at the TD Garden. Celtics with a chance now to win the series 4-1 if they can win on Tuesday. Um, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.